Hey guys, this is Paul, and as you can tell, this is not my normal setup, and that's because just a couple months ago, I moved into my dorm here at the University of Arizona. So, I'm a freshman, and over the past couple months, I've just been sort of adjusting to my classes here, getting used to my new schedule, and for my first video back, I thought it would be suitable to bring you guys the best tech I use in college on a day-to-day -day basis. But before I get started, I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, PDF Element. If you're a college student like me, you probably deal with a lot of PDFs. For example, take a look at this PDF of a study guide from my first Spanish exam. With PDF Element, I can easily go in and add text like some vocabulary that I might need to know, or highlight some key parts of the guide. You can also add in images, watermarks, comments, and more. One of my favorite features is the OCR text converter, which stands for optical character recognition, and that means that you can scan in a document and it will automatically convert it into an editable text file. There's also a free mobile app that pairs really well with the desktop application. PDF Element is available for both Windows and Mac, and it's actually 40% off right now, so if you're interested I'll leave all the information in the description down below. So first on the list we have a piece of tech that I use literally every day, my AirPods. And I've gotten to the point where I hardly ever even leave my room without them. I think the main selling point of the AirPods, for me at least, is definitely their convenience factor. Sure, they don't sound incredible and they're pretty expensive, I'm pretty sure they're still over $150, but they're just so easy to use. I literally just open the case, take them out, and they're already turned on, connected, and ready to use. The battery life is also pretty good, I use them at least an hour a day, and I still only have to charge them maybe once a week. One thing I will say is that they don't fit my ears perfectly, which is fine most of the time, but I also like to run with my earbuds, and these actually kept falling out of my ears when I tried to run with them, so I bought this little accessory pack from Amazon for just $9, and it came with a hard shell case and some rubber ear tips, and when I use those with the rubber ear tips, they stayed in my ears fine. So whether it be working out at the gym, studying in the library, or just relaxing in my dorm, I find the AirPods to be an essential piece of college tech. Next up we have this Shark Cordless Pet Vacuum, which is perfect for keeping any dorm room clean. I like this vacuum because it's the perfect size for small rooms, it really doesn't take up that much space, but it's still powerful enough for all my cleaning needs. It comes with three different attachments. I use the pet hair brush most of the time, but the other ones are great for corners or smaller spaces. It's also completely bagless, so there's no need to constantly swap out bags or buy new ones and when you need to empty it, you just pop the top off and dump it in the trash. And I also like that it comes with its own charging dock, so whenever I'm not using it, I just set it in there and it's always ready and charged for the next time I need to use it. If you're a college student like me and you're out of the dorm most of the day, and you don't have a lot of time to sit down and charge your phone anywhere, then you might want to consider picking up this Jackery 6000 milliamp hour portable power bank. I know there's countless portable power banks on Amazon, but the main selling point of the Jackery is that it comes with two built-in cables. One is a lightning cable and it also has a micro USB cable. I use an iPhone, so having a power bank with a built-in lightning cable makes things so easy for me. It also has an additional USB port for charging other devices and you can even use all three methods simultaneously if you need to charge three devices at the same time. To see how much power is left in the battery, there's four small LEDs on the front, and if you double click the power button, it turns on the built-in LED flashlight. I'm also a big fan of the size of this battery. 6,000 milliamp hours is right in the sweet spot because it's large enough to charge your phone a couple times, but it's still small enough so that it doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag, so it's pretty lightweight and portable. Another item I picked up for my dorm room is the Anchor Soundcore Bluetooth speaker. And I actually use this speaker as my primary speaker for my desk setup here at college. I did bring my Logitech Z200 speakers, but they just took up way too much room and I have a really small desk. So I decided to give this one a shot and it really impressed me. It has a pretty standard Bluetooth speaker design with a rubberized exterior and metal front grille. You have your standard speaker controls on top and on the right side you have a 3.5mm audio input jack 
a micro USB charging port, and a microphone for phone calls. Now at under $30, I wasn't really expecting much as far as sound quality goes, but it actually really surprised me. It does lack bass, but it's still better in pretty much every way when compared to my MacBook speakers. And it can also get really loud, easily loud enough to fill up a small room. So for most casual listeners, I think they would be pleasantly surprised by the sound quality. The speaker also has really impressive battery life. Inker claims up to 24 hours on their Amazon page, and while I haven't tested that for myself, I can say that I've only had to charge it one time in the two weeks since I've gotten it. So if you're looking for a decent Bluetooth speaker on a budget, I think the Anchor Soundcore is the way to go. And for our last item on the list, we have something that I've been using for about the past nine months, which is a sunrise alarm clock. So the basic idea of this alarm clock is that it uses a light to gradually wake you up before the actual alarm goes off, kind of mimicking a sunrise. So you'll wake up feeling more energetic and ready to start your day. And as strange as that might sound, I find that it actually works. I bought this in the winter when I would wake up before the sunrise and I found it much easier to wake up with this than to just wake up in the dark. So that's pretty much what I use this clock for, but there's tons of other features as well, like a sunset feature that basically does the same thing as the sunrise feature, except in reverse to help you wind down before going to bed. There's also an FM radio built in and you can change the light to different colors. Really the more I mess around with this thing, the more I find out what it can do. But again, I really only use it for that sunrise feature. So those were five pieces of tech I think most college students would find useful. And if you're interested in anything that I talked about, I'll leave links to everything in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.